Okay, next. Movement number eight. Single whip. So the movement, we start off by the end of the seventh movement. Okay, and from here, to do the single whip, we have to transition, okay, from number seven and do this first. It's called waving hands like clouds. So again, from here, first, one side of waving hands like clouds, and then I bring my hands further and hook with my right hand and then I pull my left foot back toes pointing down okay step out land on my heel weight down on this foot on the right foot from here my left hand palm facing up is going to cross over to the other side left side of my body and then drop your weight Okay, at this point, my weight is on my left foot. So again, from here, okay, first, waving hands like clouds, left hand first, turning the body, and then switch hands, right hand higher, turn the body to the right side, and then left hand meets with the right hand, and turn the right hand and left hand, and turn the right hand into a hook, Pull the left foot back, step out on your heel, and open your hands, and sink down. Now, to demonstrate the technique for this move, So as people who do Tai Chi, they understand that here in the single whip is a grab or a hook, right? So even though the hand is like this, right? But really in thinking about applying the technique, it's really a hook or a grab. So if he throws a punch slowly, right, grab. Okay, so grab and hook is slightly different. So with a grab, my thumb is under his arm, his wrist. Okay, and whereas a hook, it's really the thumb is on top. Okay, that's really the difference. Other than that, there's no difference. Okay, and normally people think about, okay, first I grab a hook and then I apply the left hand, attack, and down. So first attack forward, and then bring the force down, right? But that is not realistic. Okay, why is that realistic? First, the grab or the hook itself is not realistic. Okay, nobody allows you just to grab. And your body is all open, right? Punch faster, 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 faster. I can grab. Okay, not only that I can grab, I'm opening up. Boom to get hit. Step back more. So therefore, you really have to think about how to grab. Yeah, how do you grab? Okay, it sounds simple, but it's more complicated. So to grab, okay, let's turn. From this angle, it's easier to see the grab. So he throws a punch, faster. Okay, slower first. I do this, you see, seems reasonable. Okay, but once he adds the speed, now the grab doesn't work anymore. Okay? And particularly if you just try to grab like this, grab, grab, yeah, you, you will hit your hand on his forearm and it will hurt because the forearm is stronger than the hand, right? So you will hurt and you will hurt your hand and you can grab. So to grab, you punch slow. First, I need to block, you see? Yeah, from blocking to turning the hand to a grab. 
Okay, so again, slow motion. One, two. Okay, that's better, right? But that's still not good enough. So if he throws the punch fast, fast, pull back. Yeah, even I block first, it still wouldn't work. And then he just tried to throw both hands. One, two, boom, one, two, one, two. Yeah, I get hit. Okay, so then to set up this block and this grab, you need the other hand to help. So slow motion, one. Okay, what I do, my left hand parry and my right hand grab. Okay, here. Okay, from here, stay there. From here, right, and then turn. Okay, again, left hand, right hand together. Right, like this. Okay, and then I slide my right hand and create the hook or the grab. So now, if, even if he throws faster, faster, still works. Right, because you have the proper technique to grab or to hook. And once you do that, right, once you're really able to grab his arm, then you step in and then you apply this, this. Okay, to apply this because you're very close, you have to apply the elbow. So the elbow, drive your elbow forward. Okay, depending on the height of your opponent. So since I'm shorter than him, so I go from the under his arm. Okay, and if I'm taller than him, assuming that I'm taller than him, now my elbow is right here at his uh, chin level, so I can drive the elbow up, forward, and then here, and then maybe if possible, right, hook the hand. Yeah, bring him down if possible. Okay, but that's already a few techniques ahead, so we cannot really know whether it's going to work or not. Right, so let's do it from this angle. Okay, so he throws the punch, I parry with my left hand and block with my right hand. And once I do that, I turn my right hand and grab, and then I step in and apply the elbow. Okay, and if I'm taller than him, I step in and elbow this way. Okay. So this is how you apply this technique. It's really this force, this expansion, right, and shifting weight and elbow attack, right. So once you do the elbow attack, right, you can also add another attack. So elbow, elbow, elbow hand, right, one. Yeah, because force have to go forward in an attack. Right, you cannot just leave it like this open, right? It's really, there's an expansion, but expansion goes both ways. So, but really, in thinking about fighting, you're not just expanding, you're, you're driving your body forward. Okay.